Hello, and welcome to another installment of Ember's Reading Room. Today, we are looking at another little golden book, The Color Kittens, written by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Alice and Martin Provision. Once there were two color kittens with green eyes, Brush and Hush. They liked to mix and make colors by splashing one color into another. They had buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets got enough buckets of color to splash around with. Out of these colors, they would make all the colors in the world. That's a whole lot of colors. Also why? The buckets had the colors written on them, but of course the kittens couldn't read. <laughs> they had to tell by the colors. It's very easy, said Brush. Red is red, blue is blue, said Hush. Oh, paint all over your paws. Isn't that hard to get out of fur? Just a little. But they had no green. No green paint, said Brush and Hush. And they wanted green paint, of course, because nearly every place they liked to go was green. Green as cat's eyes, green as grass, by streams of water, green as glass. So they tried to make some green paint. Hmm. I like that little rhyming there. <laughs> now, this book has some nice alliteration. Brush mixed red paint and white paint together. And what did that make? It didn't make green, but it made pink. Pink as pigs, pink as toes, pink as a rose or a baby's nose. Then Hush mixed yellow and red together, and it made orange. Orange is an orange tree, orange is a bumblebee. Orange is the setting sun sinking slowly in the sea. The kittens were delighted, but it didn't make green. I don't recall a bumblebee being orange. Yellow and black, maybe. Well, there are a variety of types, but I don't specifically recall an orange one. Then they mixed red and blue together. And what did that make? It didn't make green. It made a deep, dark purple. Purple as violets, purple as plums, purple as shadows on late afternoons. Yeah, they can be purple, but I find them more of gray or a blue. Mm -hmm. Also, this one doesn't rhyme as much as the others. Yeah. Still, no green. And then... Oh, wonderful kittens. Oh, brush. Oh, hush. At last, almost by accident. The kittens poured a bucket of blue and a bucket of yellow together, and it came to pass that they made a green as green as grass. Green as green leaves on a tree. Green as islands in the sea. The kittens were so happy with all the colors they had made that they began to paint everything around them. They painted green leaves and red berries and purple flowers and pink cherries, red tables and yellow chairs, black trees with golden pears. Then the kittens got so excited they knocked their buckets upside down and all the colors ran together. Yellow, red, a little blue, and a little black. And that made brown. Brown as a tugboat. Brown as an old goat. Brown as a beaver. Brown. Yes, it actually says brown at the bottom in brown paint. Yeah, and usually when you mix that, you get a very ugly color of brown. And in all that brown, the sun went down. It was evening and the colors began to disappear in the warm, dark night. The kittens fell asleep in the warm, dark night with all their colors out of sight. And as they slept, they dreamed their dream. A wonderful dream of a red rose tree that turned all white when you counted three. One, two, turning the page. Three <laughs> of a purple land in a pale pink sea where apples fell from a golden tree and then a world of Easter eggs that danced about on little short legs. And they dreamed that a green cat danced with a little pink dog till they all disappeared in a soft gray fog. Funny how the dog is little but the pink dog looks larger than the green cat. Yeah. And suddenly, Brush woke up and Hush woke up. It was morning. They crawled out of bed into a big, bright world. The sky was wild with sunshine. 
The kittens were wild with purring and pouncing. Pounce, pounce, pounce. And they got so pouncy, they knocked over the buckets and all the colors ran out together. And there were all the colors in the world and the color kittens had made them. That's not what happens when you mix every can of paint together. But it makes for a nice ending. Yeah, a rainbow. Mm -hmm. I liked this one a lot when I was little. And it's actually one that I chose to read to other children when I was still a child but older than them. Hmm, I can see why. I also vaguely remember reading it at one point myself, being the artist that I am. Yes, and it's nicely disguised educational, going over various combinations you would find on the color wheel. Mm -hmm. And this has been Ember's Reading Room, with a rendition of The Color Kittens, by Margaret Wise Brown, illustrated by Alice and Martin Provision. If you enjoyed this, please look for other Ember's Reading Room videos. We do have a whole channel of stuff. Most of it's not about books, but I'm sure there's something you'd enjoy. If you'd like to help support this channel, please consider subscribing. We have links for Patreon and Coffee under Luxbrush's name. Please look below for an Amazon referral link for this book. We will try to put these in every video where the book is still in print. Also included only in the Ember's Reading Room video links is a referral link for the company Ebates. They offer cash rebates when making purchases if you start through their website. The link costs no money to click, but if you click it, sign up and make a qualifying purchase, you will get a reward and I will get a reward. Thanks again for listening. Hope you come by again soon. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of Ember's Reading Room or any content on our channel.